Hello friends, in this video we're going to go over how to stick some text or graphics to an object using tracking. In this example, we're going to draw a rectangle around this person then make the rectangle follow the subject using tracking. To get started, open the edit page and bring in your clip. Then click on the fusion button. In Fusion, visual effects are represented by nodes on this node diagram. This node is the media input. This node is the media output. The output node is connected to this monitor. To connect a monitor to a node, click on one of the dots below the node. Left dot for the left monitor, right dot for the right monitor. The most commonly used nodes can be found on this shelf. To draw a rectangle, drag in a rectangle node, then drag in a background node, drag in a merge node and drop it on top of this line until the line turns blue and yellow. Connect the nodes like this. To change the color, click on the background node, click on the color tool and pick a color. To make it into an outline, click on the Rectangle tool, uncheck Solid, and increase the border width. Change the size of the rectangle by dragging the sides or the corners. Change the position of the rectangle by dragging this handle. If I play the clip, the rectangle does not move. To make the rectangle follow the person, we need to add a tracker. Select the Media In node and press Shift Space and type in Tracker. There are three types of trackers. The camera tracker is best for a clip where the camera is moving and the subject is still, such as a drone clip or a landscape. The planar tracker is best for tracking a flat surface such as a license plate on a car or the side of a building. For this exercise we're going to use the point tracker. Click on add, grab the corner handle off the tracker and move it over the point you want to track. The inner rectangle represents what it is looking for. The outer rectangle is the area where it will look for that pattern. Change them if you need to. These buttons will allow you to track forward or reverse. This button will track forward from the current position. This button will track in reverse from the current position. Now we have a track. Notice that the track is jittery. To get a better track, change the mode to best match and decrease the match tolerance down to about half of what it is and rerun the track. This time I'm going to click on this track forward. Notice that the track is much smoother. Connect the rectangle to the tracker node. We don't need the merge node. Click on it and press delete. To make the rectangle visible, click on operation and change operation to match move. Now if we play the clip, the rectangle follows the person. If you just need your graphics to follow an object position, then you are done. Notice that we have position, rotation and scaling options, but it is not doing any rotation or scaling. To make that work, we need to add a second tracker. Open trackers and click on add. Position the tracker over the subject. Also move tracker 1. Otherwise it will mess up track 1 due to some bug and run the tracker.
Let's play the clip. Now the rectangle is following position, rotation and scaling. I don't need the rotation. Open operation and uncheck rotation. This option to ignore the rotation works with the point tracker. There doesn't seem to be an easy option for doing that with the planar tracker. And that is the reason why I think the point tracker is the best one for this job. Let's play the clip. That looks good. And that is how to use the point tracker in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found this video useful. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Leave any comments and questions down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.